Well, I'm out at my camper and uh, I'm going to spend a few nights out here. So this will be another series and I have made a couple trips out. This stuff here mainly I brought out earlier, my cot and I got the uh, table. I got my tent. <laughs> it's going to get cold and I'm going to try a night in my tent. So but I basically brought everything out and uh, I'll show you outside. It's about uh, about 32 out, I believe. And it, the days are getting long. The sun, sun is pretty strong. So it's actually pretty warm compared to what it will get. There's my car. I got it all backed up. I might use those snowshoes and possibly skis too. This is the trip or the load I brought out on this trip. Just a few extra things. Water, food, uh, clothing. Oh, my blue eddy. Yeah, I'm gonna be using that. Kind of just testing it out. I won't need it for for power and much at all, but I bought it and uh, I thought I, I should use it. Got my car all washed up. Drove through the car wash. Got my laptop, my coffee, and uh, bring that in. <clears throat> so, it's real nice. I've been uh, kind of planning and trying to figure out when to do this for quite a while. I'm going to actually set my tent up right here. I can find maybe just a little bit to the right. And I want to see how it uh, handles uh, the floor melting the uh, ground underneath. So that'll be uh, interesting and something I'd like to know because I have planned other uh, camping trips this winter, last fall, and uh, I had to back out them because it just seemed like it'd be too cold to camp in a tent. So I'm going to uh, get my my camper up to temp make sure the gas is on this shouldn't be on oh I left it on can you believe that well there's luckily it doesn't leak so I'm good batteries should be good so I'm going to turn the heater on that's right underneath the fridge here This is electricity, and yeah, we got lights. So electricity's working, and then I'm just gonna hit the old on button here. And I think I'll get the fridge going too. I, I did bring some stuff that might be better in the fridge. So it should select gas when it sees there's enough gas. And hopefully that'll get lit up. Well, oh, I'm going to put my uh, Reflectix insulation. There goes the furnace. Get that going. <clears throat> On the windows. Oh, this one here. It's a switch below. And I bought Reflectix for underneath my tent. So that's good. I'll see how that helps to insulate the tent. There's my little space heater back there. I'm going to use that. These I brought out earlier this week. So, my fridge, fridge looks like it's gone. This heat, got no heat yet, but. Uh, it might be uh, empty and empty gas lines right now. Let's see here. Let's see if I can get this front, this uh, going here. I'll pull some uh, gas in.
I thought I heard something there. Ah, oh, the gas is froze. Well, it doesn't sound like the, the gas is flowing yet since the furnace never started up. I'll double check that gas. I'm pretty sure it was on. No, it wasn't. Now we got the. I was thinking it wasn't on. I might have to restart that that furnace so it goes through its cycle again. And shut it off. Now let's see if we got Yeah, this is uh let's see if I got another lighter here. That may be warmer. Um, well, that's, I can smell the gas, so it's okay. So let's try that again now. Yeah. Hopefully that'll go this time. I've got my little uh, porta potty that I use out here. And yeah, it'd be nice when this gets warmed up. <laughs> it's been pretty cold. That's what's uh, kept me from doing this earlier. Okay, there goes the heat. That should be good to know. So yeah, I got a few plans and. Uh, I got a few new pieces of equipment and uh, stuff like that to show you. And should be a good time. We've had some windy, windy cold weather and I'd like to get out on my trails and just see what the situation is for deadfalls, blowdowns I should say. And uh, get those cleared off here sometime too. Well, I'll, uh, I'll get finished hauling stuff in and then I'm going to haul stuff out to set up camp here. This will be just right. I've set up, uh, I've set up my tarp here once and I had it over a smaller tent. So I'm going to tie off. I can tie off right from that uh, fifth wheel hitch there, find a spot there. And then I'll have my tent right here. And then uh, I'll have another pole here. I'll have poles on both sides of the tent, I think. Maybe not. So, but other than deer, there's nothing much going on out here for tracks. I have to look around more closely. Yeah, so I'll get a few things moved around and then I'll I'll bring you back when I start setting up the tent. And it is right now 133, so that's pretty good. I made I'm pretty much on time. Oop, I gotta close my door. <clears throat> I'm pretty close. This is about perfect here. Maybe I'll pull those out of there. This is perfect for uh, timing. Give me enough time to get set up. Get the camper set up. I can't wait to get inside that uh, tent. We had a uh, pretty bad wind here last week and uh, it wouldn't have been good camping. I don't think. Although I would like to, to see that situation where... Uh, where it's windy to, to see how much that affects staying in a cold tent. <laughs> it might just pull the pull the heat right out of the tent if you had a 10, 15 mile per hour wind going. Yeah. Okay, I'll bring you back in uh, just a few minutes. It won't take me long to get things going here. Get things straightened out a bit. Okay, see you in a bit. Bye now.